Ladies, if I were to ask you, are you dense? You'd probably get a little upset with me, right? But guess what? Turns out it's one of the most important questions a woman can ever ask. And Breast Cancer Awareness Month happens to be the perfect time to find out why. Joining me is Dr. Rachel Brem, radiologist and director of breast imaging and intervention. Dr. Rachel Brem from George Washington University and the Brem Foundation, also a breast cancer survivor. Good morning. Good morning, wonderful being here. No, so glad to have you, doctor. Talk to me about how your foundation really hones in on early detection, early diagnosis. I mean, it's really important for you, it's a passion. The passion started when I was a young girl at the age of 12. My mother had breast cancer and I saw the ravages that it could due to a family. And so I decided then as a young girl that I was gonna to try to do everything I can to make breast cancer a, a curable disease. And that's how I got here. Let's talk about that cryptic question. Are you dense? Why is it important to know that? How does that question fit into early detection and early diagnosis? So breast density is critically important. It's how much breast tissue you have. If you have more than 50% breast tissue in your breasts, then you have dense breast tissue. Less, you're not dense. And the reason that's important is because it impacts how mammograms are interpreted. In women who don't have dense breasts, about 90% of breast cancers can be seen. But in women who have dense breast tissue, a third of breast cancers are not seen. This is because on a mammogram, breast tissue is white and breast cancer is white. So the lack of contrasts makes it very difficult to see the cancer, kind of like trying to find a specific cloud on a cloud-filled sky. Hmm. 40% of American women have dense breast tissue, although almost half of American women don't know what their breast density is. And the other thing is very important is that legislation is having an increasing impact. 19 states now require women to be told what their breast density is. And there's a federal bill before Congress that will make it mandated throughout the country. And it's important to realize that you can't tell what your breast density is except by your mammogram. So you can be perky dense, you can be saggy dense. You can feel anyway and still have dense breasts. It's only something you can tell from your mammogram. You have a personal story. You are a breast cancer survivor. You were diagnosed in 96. Tell me what happened. The way I found my cancer is I had a mammogram two weeks before this. And then I was charged, which was normal. I was charged with trying to find some new ultrasound equipment in my center. So what I do is I tell all the vendors to bring their ultrasound equipment in, and at the end of the day, when things are quiet, I'll try it on myself. Really? So that night, not only did I know which ultrasound unit I wanted to purchase, but I also found my own cancer. You discovered your own? That's, and, and the mammogram, I had a mammogram two weeks earlier, and it was normal because I had dense breasts as well. Oh my gosh, and at that moment, what went through your mind? I felt very fortunate that I found it, had the opportunity to find it early, when breast cancers are often curable. God bless. All right, doctor, I have many more questions to ask you, so thank you so much for sharing that personal story. And coming up after the break, Dr. Bram is going to tell us how to find out if we have dense breasts, and she's got some great information about a breast screening option for thousands of women, including me, with dense breasts. So stay right there, don't go anywhere. Welcome back to The Balancing Act, and we're in the middle of a very important discussion with breast cancer advocate and survivor Dr. Rachel Brem from George Washington University and the Brem Foundation. Before the break, we were sharing some shocking statistics about breast density and why it's vital for women to determine whether or not they have dense breasts because of the risk factor. Doctor, thank you so much for joining me again. Let's talk about what options we have if we are dense. So it's very important for women to know that there are other options to help find these hidden breast cancers. And it's important to realize that not only is mammography more challenging in women with dense breast tissue, but women who have dense breast tissue have a four to six fold increased risk of developing breast cancer. Really? The perfect storm. Higher, harder to find, higher risk of breast cancer. So we need additional options to find these hidden breast cancers. Ultrasound, which is a terrific option, it's comfortable, it uses no radiation, doesn't require an injection. With ultrasound, the contrast is optimized. Breast cancers are black, breast tissue is white. So we can see the cancers that are otherwise hidden because of the lack of contrast in mammography. And I actually do go to a separate room after my mammogram and I 
I have a technician do, um, I guess it's a handheld ultrasound on me. Right. So that's terrific, but the problem is that handheld ultrasound can be very variable, is very operator dependent, it depends on who's doing it. Mm -hmm. And so what really was needed is a way to harness the power of ultrasound, which finds two to four additional cancers per thousand, or probably about 24,000 additional cancers in the U.S. every year, to harness that in a way that is efficient and effective and can not be operator dependent so that, that we can be sure that the entirety of the breast is imaged. I do want to say that uh, ultrasound is in addition to mammography. This does not replace mammography, but it's an important additional tool we have to find more cancer. So have we advanced that technology to have that extra, let's say, option? Yes, there is uh, exciting new technology that was developed by GE called ABUS, Automated Breast Ultrasound. How does it work? It's designed to use ultrasound, again, a comfortable, no radiation examination to find these hidden breast cancers. And it images each part of the breast with a specially designed, very sophisticated piece of equipment that is the only FDA approved device to screen women with dense breast tissue available in the United States. So definitely something that I should look into. Absolutely. Doctor, I know through your foundation you you really want a lot of women to be more aware, educated, self-advocacy. Really important today, isn't it? Absolutely. A woman is her own best advocate and she has the responsibility to know her body and know if there's anything else she can do to be the healthiest that she can be. And that's why it's very important for women to know what their breast density is. But until every woman is told what her breast density is, she has to ask what it is and ask what else she can do, such as ABUS, to find these additional mammographically hidden breast cancers. And once you find out, also learn about these misconceptions that are out there as well, correct? That's right. Breast density changes with age. It decreases. But 40% of American women have dense breast tissue. In women in their 40s, it's 70%. But more than a third of women in their 70s have dense breast tissue. Really? So regardless of your age, you may have normal dense breast tissue, which may require additional imaging to optimize the diagnosis of early curable breast cancer. Thank you so much, doctor, for all this information. I'm gonna look into the ABUS, and I know there's a famous line that says different test for? Different breast, individualized screening for all women. We are not the same. Thank you so much for your time. And of course, head to thebalancingact.com for more information. And don't forget to join us on Facebook and Twitter and find out if you have dense breasts. Very important, right, Doctor? Absolutely. There you go.